Yo, what is up everybody? It's Out of Order and welcome to the editing and designing tutorials. This is the series where I teach you guys everything from GFX to VFX and motion design and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So this is going to be a short tutorial, a really short tutorial. I'm just going to teach you guys uh, how to use Glitchify. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to import my clips right here. These clips I recorded earlier in 500 FPS. Uh, I have a depth map over here, so I recommend using a depth map with glitchify uh it just makes everything look a lot better so let's just drag all these clips in here let me key light this out so if you don't know how to set up a depth map uh i made a previous tutorial on how to use depth maps and all that kind of stuff so uh, i'll leave that in the description but uh basically you're just gonna want to set up a basic depth map for glitchify which is what i did here so if we turn this off you guys can see that everything's all nice and depth map so you can use glitchify on um, a normal clip without the depth map but it just looks a million times better if you put it on the depth map as you guys can see it, it just i don't know it just looks better but um we haven't even done much really so let's get right into my settings so my glitchify settings uh i, I always turn off image i don't know why you would ever want image you can have image on but if you do have image uh just change the just change the uh, transfer mode and uh, the block size opacity turn that like way down because nobody wants that but i i never use image honestly you guys just just disable it you're better off without it so the next thing i like to do in their channel settings is uh with the channel split you can turn off that saturation just put it to zero uh i don't know why that's really there the color glitch looks better than the saturation but yeah just turn off the saturation and uh channel scale uh offset put that to zero uh, speed multiplier put that to zero vertical put that on and then this is where this is how you do like particles that like shoot up in the air so to do that you just want to make sure your settings look like mine speed multiplier zero offset all that stuff and then when he shoots that's when all keyframes so when he shoots i'll add a scale keyframe press you on your keyboard uh go ahead in time a little bit and then just increase that like all the way up and then when he shoots you'll notice particles rise in the air which is pretty nice you can also easy ease it with by selecting it pressing f9 and then in your graph editor messing with these settings like having it like explode in the air like that another thing that a lot of people don't do which is what i think people should be doing is uh, under advanced settings if you go to channel scale you have fill gaps which basically just does this thing right here um i like to lower my my glitchify settings when i do use fill gaps like a lot because i feel like that's too much so something like this might look nice and that's basically it guys those are my glitchify settings um i don't really use glitchify that often except in my <laughs> let them bleed at it but i think that was the last time i used glitchify uh just don't overdo it honestly guys glitchify is kind of an overused effect uh i don't really recommend using it you're better off using other effects like distort or something like that or displacement maps but uh yeah guys those are my glitchify settings um i guess that's the end of the tutorial if you enjoyed the tutorial um drop a like subscribe if you're new um i make tutorials like almost every day now so uh yeah if you want more tutorials just leave a like and subscribe and uh yeah comment down below what you want to see next in my next video and uh yeah guys i'm out dudes later man peace yeah,